Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2015 Thor Windsport 34J Bunkhouse Class A gas motorhome with the full wall slide. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. Overall exterior length is 35 feet 5 inches and exterior height to the dual 13,500 BTU AC units is 12 feet 2 inches. This is a one owner coach. The only reason why the owners are selling it is because their priorities have changed. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. All right, this coach does have the full wall slide. Show off that full wall slide. Makes a huge difference. Pretty much goes the full length of the coach. Accommodates the, the slide, accommodates the boot dinette, the kitchen, the bunk bed area, and the closets in the master bedroom. And I'll show that to you here in a second. Show off the boot dinette. Breaks down into a bed. Pretty easy to break down. Sleeps two adults there. Also in the super slide, the kitchen. Not sure what the color of the cabinets are. Looks like maybe a dark maple. And uh, it does have a, like a brush nickel finish on all your hardware. You do have solid surface coin style countertops, not the Famica tops. Nice sink covers. Double bowl sink, under mounted. Pull out sprayer faucet. Three burner gas cook top. Front burner is usually going to be a high output oven. Looks like it's never been used. Huge microwave by Whirlpool. I do also want to point out you do have a 32 inch flat screen TV above the booth dinette. I'm going to stick with talking about the full wall slide here. Walking back into the hallway area. Also in the super slide or the full wall slide has bunk beds. Then you do have an area for hooking up TVs. There's one TV right there. I do want to point out that these are bifold doors and it closes off to where it looks like just a huge closet. All right, we're still in the full wall slide, full wall slide back in the master bedroom. Accommodates the, the slide back here, accommodates the, all the closets and uh, TV. I'm not sure what size they're calling this TV. And you can open up this TV storage back behind it. You have charging station here for your smart devices. And that is the full wall slide. Let's back up here, show off what it looks like from the rear. All right, you get the idea. All right, while we're back here. Do you have the king bed? King bed does lift up. Nice headboard. You've got nice reading lights. Closets on each side of the bed. That stereo off to the side there is Bluetooth ready. You can hook up a smart device to it if you want that option. You've got it. You do have thermostat control there for one of your AC units. You know, dual ACs, 13,500 BTU AC units. And your furnace is going to be a 35,000 BTU furnace. You do have a nice wood pocket door for privacy from the master bedroom into the bunk area. There's another TV. And this is going to be a nice gaming station area for the bunk bed area here. Full wall slide makes a huge difference. Show off the bathroom here 
foot flush porcelain toilet. Lots of counter space. Medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. Skylight in the shower. Glass enclosed shower door. There you go. You get the idea. It's going to be your central command uh, from the bottom right uh, going left. Those are going to be switches for your water heater. Runs off gas and electric. It's, uh, I believe uh, I have to check and see what the gallon is on the water heater. Uh, whether you're boondocking or you're up to shore power, you've got hot water within 15 minutes. Uh, to the left of that is the water pump switch. To the left of that, you have tank heaters on this coach. So you can go into extended uh, seasons and not worry about your tanks freezing up. And to the left of that is your uh, button for your power, your full wall slide out. And up above to the top right on the monitor panel, that's going to be your uh, monitors for your black tank, which is your toilet which is, I believe, gonna be 40 gallon, and the gray tank, which is your sink and shower, it's 43 gallon, and your fresh water tank, I believe, is gonna be 50 gallon, and your batteries are brand new, shows you where you are on your batteries, and your LP tank, which is an 88 pound LP tank, and to the left of that is your generator start and stop button, and let's show off the hours on the Jenny. It's a 5.5 Onan gasoline generator, has 21 hours on the Jenny, almost 22 hours. And above that is your Xantrax 1000 watt inverter. This is going to be your remote system for uh, remotely accessing your slide outs, your lights, your awnings, all the good stuff. And walking into the kitchen area here, this is going to be, uh, I believe it's going to be six cubic foot, six cubic foot nor cold refrigerator, gas and electric. Flip the switch on a couple hours later, you are ready to go. Nice pantry. Okay, this is going to be a sleeper sofa. It's going to be an air mattress. The sofa is showing a little sign of wear. It's just a cushion. And anyway, just a little bit of the sag right here and right here. So. Fabrics are in excellent condition. Uh, I guess just get some new cushions. It's really a non-issue, really. But uh, point tend to point things out like that, just in case a buyer is looking for something in showroom, absolute showroom condition. I do want to point out your window treatments, uh, colors. Colors are going to be tans, maybe some some golds, some dark browns, and you do have night shades all throughout the coach. Power lift bed, it's rated at 500 pounds. Little switch over here, little safety switch with the key to lock it. Easily put it up and down within, within a minute for video purposes. I'm not gonna do that because my videos are getting too long. But anyway, oh, and this does have an air mattress up here. You can, you can sleep 10 people in this coach. Uh, both pilot and co-pilot seats are in excellent condition and obviously they swivel around. Point out your little workstation here for the co-pilot seat. 110 hookups to the right and to the left you've got 12 volt hookup. For smart devices and plugging in a stereo. I do also want to point out you have like a little doggy window or a safety window for blind spots. On your stereo here, it's smart device ready. It's got all the good stuff you can imagine having on a stereo. Uh, and it is tied into your side view cameras and your backup camera. Turn on your turn signals and your side view cameras pop up. And uh, of course it has stereo, CD, all the good stuff. This is gonna be your switches for your driver fan to the right. It's gonna be your passenger fan. And uh, in the middle is generator start and stop button. And to the left of that, you've got cab lights for reading maps and stuff like that. Show off that driver's seat. All, all the seats, both seats are in excellent condition. And uh, I believe they're six-way. 
you do have a smart USB charging ports here and temperature controls right there. Wood grain dash, by the way. This is sitting on the Ford chassis. It does have a 362 horsepower motor, Triton V10, and 457 foot pounds of torque. And the coach currently has. 3,647 miles. There's going to be an emergency start and stop button uh, right here. And that ties your house battery and chassis battery together. You got fog lights. And uh, okay, down there, right here, it's going to be your auto leveling system and remote heated power mirrors. All the good stuff. All right, one last look of the floor plan here before we go outside. And you also had ducted AC. Uh, I do also want to point out fantastic vent fan there. And all your lights inside and out are going to be all LED. Back up here. I don't have my wind mic. I dropped it and it broke. So forgive, the, forgive me for the wind and the noise. Does have the outside kitchen. Outside kitchen does have a dorm style fridge. I'm not sure how many cubic foot it is, probably 2.5, I'm guessing. Sink, and it does have a dedicated six gallon holding tank on it and LED lights for lighting up the kitchen area here. And you do have storage there. Nice LP gas hookup here for your gas grill. Does have a gas grill that's never been used. Door is on assist struts. Slam latch bagging baggage doors. Gotta love those. There's your wind sport badge right there. The awning is a little dirty. As I said, the coach has not been detailed, but the awning is gonna be, I believe, an 18 foot power awning. And I do wanna point out on the awnings, the only real issue I found really on the outside is the LED lights strips in the tube are going out and uh, it's a pretty cheap repair. But anyway, I do find it important to point that out. And your fiberglass finish on this coach is gonna be an HD Max finish. Uh, basically the color is bled all the way through. So if you scratch it, it's bled all the way through. Uh, basically it looks like you have a full body paint coach and it's gel coated. Rotocast compartments, easy to clean out. You do have pass-through storage here. Side hinge, slam latch baggage doors. And you do have uh, pass-through storage there. And you do have LED lights in all your compartment areas. It's gonna be your 88 pound LP tank. You do have outside speakers. Full entertainment package, uh, outside TV, 32 inch flat screen TV. Brand new batteries. It's gonna be your hydraulic system for your slide outs and your leveling jacks. You do have four point auto level, 22.5 tires with the wheel simulators and the tires look to be all in good condition. They're made by Goodyear. There's your gravity water fill, 50 gallon freshwater tank. You do have front and rear molded fiberglass caps. The rear cap on this coach is beautiful with the LED light, brake lights, and it does have a 8,000 pound towing capability. Ladder to get up on your full walk on roof. Backup camera. Full wall slide with the full awning package. You do have frameless tinted windows. More storage, more pass-through all the way there. Fuel fill, it's gonna be 80 gallon fuel cell in this coach. There's your 50 amp power cord. 
marine style, you just unplug it and roll it up and stow it away. It's going to be your electronic uh, Furion system. And I'm not real sure what that is. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's speed this up. Okay, this is going to be your holding tanks and where you hook up your sewer hose. Uh, your holding tanks, again, they do have the heat pads on them. Slam latch baggage doors. Those are really convenient. 5500 Onan generator, gasoline powered. That's going to be your pass through storage, and that's going to be your pass through storage. I've already shown you. Uh, let me back up. Yeah, it's just another storage compartment. This one's going to be a pass through storage, and that's going to be the pass through storage that I showed on the front side. Sun's gonna get me. I do want to point out that also has outside shower right there, hot and cold running water. I'm gonna say this is a six gallon water heater on this coach. All right, back up, kind of show that full wall slide makes a huge difference. Fairly clean coach. Definitely went through 10, 10 being the best. I've rated definitely a nine. As far as condition, I think any dealer would agree with me. Front cap, one piece windshield, chrome heated side mirrors with integrated camera right here. There's your doggy window or safety window for your blind spot. There's your Triton V10 badge right there. I think I got everything. If I didn't, I do apologize. If you want to come and see the coach, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.